everybody. It's me, Moody Boo, the Fragrant Nomad. I know I'm not in front of the camera again today, but my husband's home and not feeling real well, so I thought I'd just sneak in the bedroom here and knock off a quick video, because you guys voted for Scent of Woods. S excuse me, I do that every time. Scents of Wood, Vanilla and Bourbon, as the winner of the Moody Pole. I think it was number nine, was it? Number eight? I never can remember, but that's beside the point. Anywho, this was the one that you guys chose for me to review next. So I wanted to get that Etsy haul out of the way. And now that I have, here's the review of this. So um, these are pretty spendy perfumes. They're about $240 per bottle. And they it's kind of a bummer. I was lucky to get in there pretty quickly and I got a couple of discovery scents with um, three in each one, but now they have a subscription So you can't buy those discovery sets anymore. You have to pay it's like $30 a month and you I don't know if you choose or they choose for you I think you choose what scents that you um, Want to have sent to you and I can't remember the size I think it's about the same size as the ones I have which I believe are 10 ml So um, anyway, they will send those to you one a month but they only have like 31 perfumes in their arsenal. So, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to join that. Um, I don't know. But I have two other bottles, uh, full bottles of uh, Scents of Wood um, coming. And it's I'm having another mini haul of more niche perfumes and stuff. Um, I had my indie perfume one. I'm going to have another haul video here very soon. Um, and I'll show you those two bottles at that time. But you, the cool thing is you do get a little choice. You get to choose the color of the bottle because they have ivory, chocolate, and charcoal. So it's basically kind of a white, a brown, and a black. And then the caps are uh, gold or black. So um, my other bottle, I believe, is black with a gold cap. So I got a white one with a gold cap this time. So vanilla in bourbon is lemon zest, cardamom, cinnamon bark, myrrh, uh, gurgeon bal balsam, I'm probably saying that wrong, which is cut, just kind of a fresh, woody, spicy kind of aroma. Um, ambrin, which is the one with the E at the end, as I understand, ambrin, ambrain, and ambrin, or ambrian, I don't know how you say them, are two different things. The one with the E at the end is more of a kind of a labdanum, ambery kind of an aroma. And the one without the E at the end is a, a kind of a, a, a interpretation of an ambergris note, or it is derived from ambergris or something like that. And vanilla bean, guyac wood, and alibinum. And alibinum, in case you don't remember, is just kind of a fresh green, um, maybe, maybe a bit spicy, kind of a woody aroma. So, um, this is good. I, you know, I've worn it probably maybe a dozen times and I do really like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's up there in my top 10 vanillas at this point, though I will say. This reminds me of a really mellow version of, um, you know, Mikalef comes out every year with, with an exclusive line with a, a special limited edition line. And the vanilla one where it was Vini Orient and um, Vini, um, oh crap, uh, the word for leather and, and things like that. Well, I got Vini Orient and that's what it kind of reminds me of is Mikalef's Vini Orient, which I adore. I love it. But I like that Mikalef's has, you know, a wow factor to it. And this one, I'm not sure it has quite the wow factor. Now it's really good. I do really, really like it. And it could possibly be in the love zone down the road. Um, when you first spray it, you do get kind of a, 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 a crisp freshness from that lemon zest. And the cardamom just kind of warms it up. Now the cinnamon and the myrrh and the balsam, I don't really think they come in until um, maybe 20, 30 minutes after you first spray it. 
But the funny thing is those to me do not stay in the picture as long as some of the other notes, um, like the labdanum, the gaiac, the alibinum, um, and the vanilla is there throughout. Those kind of come in more in the bass, in the deep bass, <clears throat> while some of those other, what I consider more interesting notes, you know, the cinnamon, myrrh, gurgeon, balsam, um, I, they kind of go the wayside a little bit. And that's why I say it's kind of a mellow version of Mikalev's Vinny Orient, um, is because those deeper, really interesting notes kind of, kind of mellow out and just are not as prominent as I personally would like them. But it would be a good perfume for um, somebody kind of stair-stepping their way up the niche ladder. You know, this is a good kind of starter perfume, I think, for a niche environment. But I will say from the ones I've tried from Sense of Wood, it, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I don't really get any boozy notes. And like I said, I don't really get that deep... Um, uh, a little bit of darkness that I would like to smell in, in this kind of a vanilla. Um, it's pretty light, it's pretty mellow, but it is really good. I mean, it's one of those brainless kind of perfumes. If you didn't want to go through your whole vanilla repertoire, this would be a good one just to grab and go because it's really versatile. I think this could be worn day or night. Uh, it could be a good signature scent, except for it, the performance isn't um, outstanding in my opinion it's okay it's good I get about seven eight hours with it with two sprays a little more with a, a couple more sprays uh, it projects pretty good um, for a couple of hours and then it comes in you know uh, wrist to elbow right in there that's about how I picture my scent bubble at that point point. and it's again one of these that all of a sudden it's just gone but I, again, I do wish that the cinnamon, the myrrh, and the balsam um, were a little more in the forefront and a little more powerful. But, it, you know, that might make it a little less appealing, though, to uh, more people. So I get why they did it. But I, I blind bought this, by the way. It was not one of the ones that uh, the 10 ml um, discovery set ones that I have. It, this one... I just saw it. They had just released it. I went, vanilla and bourbon? Oh, yeah, I'm all in. But, you know, it teaches me that not all blind buys are 100% wow factor kind of a thing. This one isn't a wow factor. It's more of a, a good factor. You know, it's a good perfume. And again, I think it would be a good signature scent for somebody. Very unisex. I think this is also one you could wear year-round. And I can't say that about Mikalev's uh, Vinny Orient or some of my favorite vanillas that are a little more powerful, a little darker. Um, this one, you definitely could wear year-round. You could wear this, I think, in the summer, in the spring, um, like I said before, day or night. But it is really good. It's really good. So, um, also, I think the environment that this would be really good in, you could wear this for formal environments. I don't see any problem with that at all. Um, as far as going out dancing and big parties and stuff, I'm not sure it could compete with some of the other heavy hitters. It may, I, you know, it, it's not a bee smoke kind of perfume, but um, it is a really good perfume and it's a very inviting kind of a perfume it's an attractor for sure so because it's a little more mainstream of a vanilla and um, uh, you know the balsams and the spices and all of that and so I don't think it, anybody would find it offensive or um, something that would you know make them run for the hills or anything um, in fact, I find it very inviting. It's warm, it's sweet without being very sweet. It's not super sweet for a vanilla perfume. It's got some freshness. It's got some depth to it with those spices and balsams and stuff. And then it kind of evens up, kind of plateaus in the, the deep dry down. So there isn't really anything to be offended by with this perfume. So another reason for it to be a good signature scent. Uh, work occasions, absolutely. I don't see any problem with that. Um, in flagrante delicto, potentially, depending on what your 
um, a significant other is attracted to. Uh, so it's a pretty versatile perfume. Uh, I really think that this is a, a good one. And it could be a slow burn for me. I might end up loving it more down the road. And if that happens, I'll let you know. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Um, I just wanted to do this very quickly. Didn't want to disturb the hubster. Um, let him rest. So thank you for being so patient with me, you guys. I can't believe I hit 4,000 subscribers. That's really cool. I appreciate you all so much. The other poll has been up for a little while. I'm going to leave it up a little while longer um, because I may do that haul video first and then do the winner of that poll. So I'll probably take that poll down, I don't know, in a few days or so. So anyway, thank you guys again. I appreciate your patience and you're always coming back and putting up with me, you know. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Peace.